Now, I recently reviewed the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Plus, a really premium high-end tablet, of course, from Samsung. I have my full review on that dropping the next couple of days, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. You don't want to miss it. Uh, but I have something here that not only comes in at a great price, but it matches that tablet in a lot of ways. Of course, it won't match it exactly. It's not as premium, but again, at $299, I think this tablet right here is going to make a difference. And this is, of course, the one sent over from Chewy. This is the HiPad Pro. It has a 10.8 inch IPS display. It's got LTE, works really great here in the United States. And we'll talk more about that in a moment. Uh, it comes with a nice case if you want to go for the keyboard and pen. Now it does support pen. That's extra. We'll get into that as well. But all said and done, you're looking at about $350. Uh, not a bad price, but let's find out if it actually is worth the price tag. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my review of the Chewy HiPad Pro 10.8 inch tablet with LTE. Coming up. Now, as we take a look at the specs, I want to let everybody know in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by Chewy. I'm not being sponsored by Chewy. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Chewy is not getting copy approval. That means they're seeing this video for the first time, just like you. Pricing starts at $299.99, and that's for the tablet only. If you include the keyboard case and the pen, that comes to $359.99. For those interested, I'll leave a link in the description below for more information and where you can buy one. And with the specs and pricing out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. You get your power adapter along with a USB-C cable that allows you to charge this, of course. And then, of course, you get the unit itself, some documentation that we don't really care too much about, to be honest. And we get the unit itself. Now, the tablet has some really good build quality, and I love this dark blue finish on it. Gives it a nice, sleek, and modern look. Now, Chewy also sent over the keyboard case along with the pen. We'll get to the pen in a moment. But this keyboard cover is very reminiscent of the Samsung Tab keyboard we've seen in the past. Uh, it comes with some documentation in a lot of different languages, including English. So if you need to check it out to learn how to pair it, it's all there. And then, of course, the case has a pretty nice finish to it with almost like a cloth feel, almost like a surface-like feel on the back of it. And then, of course, the keys are pretty compact since this is a 10.8-inch device at the end of the day. Now the keyboard does connect via Bluetooth and it does charge via this USB-C port on the side. Now at 455 grams or a shade over one pound, not the lightest tablet out there, but pretty portable, of course, to take with you on the go. And it sticks magnetically to the keyboard cover. It's a pretty secure connection and it has one position when it's in its keyboard case. And for those wondering, these are plastic keys similar to the Galaxy Tab keyboard, and there is no backlight on it for those wondering. And they also sent over the pen, which uses the Microsoft Pen Protocol 2.0, and that's the same as the Surface Pen. And it uses a quadruple A battery. It also has 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity. So if you're a digital artist or just want to take some notes, it's a nice option to go with. And they give you two extra pen tips along with a tip remover tool. And I think if you're interested in this tablet, I think you're going to want to get the keyboard and pen to get the complete experience. Now, one thing I'm not crazy about is that there's no place to store the pen on that keyboard cover. Would have been nice to have a magnetic space on the tablet or somewhere around the tablet that you can sort of stick it, but you really can't. So you're going to have to keep it in a separate pocket in your bag. But interestingly enough, it does stick magnetically to the bottom, but you can't access it when it's in its keyboard cover since it's already attached to the keyboard case. And one of the benefits of this tablet is the fact that it has 4G LTE and I'm able to use it with my Google 5 SIM utilizing the T-Mobile network here in Las Vegas. Now in my studio, I have very bad connection all around. So this is not indicative of what you can expect. These are pretty bad downloads and uploads, but keep in mind, I'm in my studio. I will give you some numbers when I'm out and about later on. So just bear that in mind. And I've had no issues with the Wi-Fi. It worked well, both uploads and downloads. But one thing for sure, this has been great having always on connection wherever I go. That's a real positive and a real attribute to this tablet. And it does have GPS and Google Maps work just fine. And it has a wide vine level one security. That means you can watch Netflix in full HD. 
Now this is running Android 11. It's a pretty stock Android skin on it. Really very basic actually. I don't see too much bloatware and it actually works pretty well. It's pretty fluid so far. Now, as far as the CPU is concerned, this is employing the MediaTek Helio G95. And I got to say, with 8 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage, the performance has been actually pretty good. Not too bad, but it's not going to be groundbreaking either. But this is definitely a step up over the Qualcomm Snapdragon 662 that they were using before. Now, this is an 8-core CPU. And as I mentioned earlier, it has 8 gigabytes of RAM along with 128 gigabytes of UFS 2.1 storage. And I had no issues gaming, of course. I'm not a huge gamer when it comes to tablets. I'm playing Asphalt 9 here. Everything seemed to work really fluid and very smoothly, and I had no issues. So uh, gaming has actually been pretty good for me, at least on this tablet so far. And the good news is it has a micro SD card slot for storage expansion. And to me, the star of the show has to be its display. And what we're looking at here is a 10.8 inch IPS display with a resolution of 2560 by 1600. That is a 16 to 10 aspect ratio. And it's a really nice, crisp, sharp display, which is kind of surprising, especially at this price point to get a nice high resolution display that you have here. The blacks are pretty deep. It's got some pretty nice, vibrant colors. They just seem to pop off the display. I'm very, very impressed with this display so far. Now, one thing to note, it is a glossy display so you will notice some glare and reflections in certain lighting conditions something to be aware of but it's actually a pretty bright display i still need to do my measurements of it but it's definitely more than 300 nits that's for sure and using it with the pen has been great and as i mentioned earlier it's using that same technology as a surface pen the mpp 2.0 or microsoft pen protocol so if you're going to take notes or sketch out artwork the pen is a nice value add here again you do pay extra for it not much and it does have a little bit of a cheap plastic feel but again at this price point i'm not complaining now the front facing camera is a hole punch camera. It's a five megapixel camera, but it's only capable of 720p according to the app that it comes with. Let's take a look and a listen at it to get its uh, quality. So this is the front facing camera on the Chewy HiPad Pro. It's with LTE. Uh, this is only a 720p webcam. It's a five megapixel webcam, but I didn't see any way to put 1080p. I'm gonna put Gcam on this to see if I can get even higher. What do you think about the video quality? What do you think about the audio quality? Let me know. And the rear camera didn't fare much better, although it can do 1080p video. Not very good images, of course. Let's check it out. So this is the rear-facing cameras on the Chewy HiPad Pro with LTE. This is 1080p video out of the stock camera app that they're using here. Here you can see my backyard and my pool. I got the jacuzzi over there. We're doing a little bit of work, of course, fully renovating this house. So this is the rear-facing camera on the Chewy iPad Pro LTE. What do you think about it? Let me know. And another pleasant surprise has been the sound. The quad speakers on this have been excellent. Let's give it a listen in terms of that sound. The Asus ROG Zephyrus G14 here for 2022. Coming up. Now, this does have a 7,000 milliamp hour battery, and actually, battery life has been pretty good, a little bit better than I expected. I'm getting about 10 hours of battery life on this on a single charge, which isn't bad. Of course, your mileage may vary depending on what you're doing. Now, unfortunately, the included 5 volt, 2 amp power charger takes a long time to really charge this tablet, but it does support fast charge. So, if you use a faster charger, it definitely will help out in terms of faster charging, that's for sure. Now, finally, I want to point out something very important. Now, if you're ordering this, it's coming from China. You're going to get it from AliExpress in the link below. But of course, there's no guarantee on anything. And the warranty information in terms of repairability and things like that means you might have to send it to China. I'm not sure the time frame of repairing this and so forth. I don't know if they would be able to repair it outside of China. So those are risks you're going to take when you order a tablet of this nature, especially from China. So please keep that in mind. But there's a lot to like here, ladies and gentlemen. The Chew iPad Pro has a beautiful 10.8 inch, 2.5K display. It worked really well. It has some decent performance, good pen support. I like the loud quad speakers that really surprised the heck out of me. Good build quality with this all metal design. 4G LTE has been great. And I love the fact that you can expand the storage with that micro SD card slot. 
But of course, it's not perfect. The fact that the keyboard is not backlit is something that we had to deal with the Samsung. And this, of course, is the same situation. No place to store the pen when it's in its keyboard cover. And the keyboard and pen are sold separately, although not too expensive. They would have been nice to have included in the box. And the display is a bit reflective. You will notice some glaring reflections in certain lighting conditions. And the cameras, I guess, are serviceable, but not great. I would say they're subpar at best. But the truth is, at this price point, you get a lot of bang for your buck, and that you can't deny. So what do you think about this bad boy? And I gotta say, uh, really liking this tablet. I like what it brings to the table. Uh, again, all said and done, it's $350 or so. Uh, this got, has like almost like a fake Alcantara feeling to it, although it does feel pretty nice, I gotta admit. Uh, the keyboard does not have a backlight, it charges via USB-C, it connects via Bluetooth, so you can actually use it without actually having this in the case itself, well that's actually pretty good. Uh, it's got a nice uh, metal finish on it, of course you can see it here. Uh, this is a major fingerprint magnet, you can actually see it here. Uh, you'll definitely be collecting fingerprints with this, there's no doubt about it, but it is a nice build and it does have a nice uh, feel to it. Uh, not the lightest tablet out there, but uh, definitely brings a nice feeling in terms of sturdiness to this tablet. Now, I love the fact that that 10.8 inch display gets bright over 500 nits. I love the fact that uh, it's an IPS display with excellent viewing angles. Now, one thing about the display, it is a very glossy display, so you will notice a lot of glare and reflections, again, depending on your lighting conditions, but it is bright, like I said, so that offsets it somewhat, but it's a very nice display to watch movies on it, Netflix, Amazon, and YouTube. It has a level one wide vine security patch, so that means you're going to be able to watch uh, Netflix, for instance, in high definition, not standard definition, so that's actually pretty good. Not something we always see from these tablets from China. Uh, like the price here, like I said, it's a really nice deal, especially if you look at the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 or S8 Plus, it comes in a much higher price tag. Of course, you're getting a better quality, I think a little bit better than this, but again, at this price, you really can't argue it. Now, the cameras are not very good on this, as I showed you in the video, so don't go taking photos or videos extensively on this. It'll work in a pinch. It's definitely serviceable, but I wouldn't be using this for high-end photography or any high-end video, that's for sure. But for a Zoom call, it actually was okay, I would say. Nothing special, but again, it'll get the job done. What do you think of the Chewy iPad Pro with LTE? I use it here in Las Vegas. Uh, with my Google Fi SIM that uses the T-Mobile network. I've had no issues, although in my studio, the speeds have been terrible, but that's generally the case with the reception here in my studio, so not indicative of this device. Now, one caveat, as I mentioned, if you're buying this from China, which you're gonna get from AliExpress, Beware that maybe you're gonna have some issues with warranty or with serviceability. You'll have to send it to China. So again, it's a risk you take anytime you go with these budget tablets coming out of China. Uh, but there's a lot to like here, ladies and gentlemen, but just be aware when you're ordering it, you're not ordering it from the US with those standard warranties that you would come to expect. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.